the difference between these two machines is literally night and day. Shumai and welcome to another video. Now the Bishop Packer is made from aircraft aluminium. It has a matte black grip and cap and also has a hand polished copper band. It's made in the USA. What sets this machine apart from the shader is the fixed 4.2 millimeter stroke and the Fall Harbor brushless motor with custom windings made specifically with more power and torque. Now this machine, it is intended for color packing, color realism, traditional. It offers better ink saturation and it's also designed for fine or bold lines. The recommended voltage range for the packer is six volts to eight volts. Personally, I use it at around about 7.5. Size wise, the machine you're looking at 3.7 inches and it weighs in about four ounces. The price you're looking at 647 pounds 99 pence. And the machine also has a one year warranty. Well, if you watched my review on the shader, you will know I wasn't that much of a fan. So I didn't really have high hopes for this machine and I will have to admit I was completely wrong. Instantly, the difference between this machine and this machine is like night and day. It's like the difference between a cheap machine from Amazon and the usual high quality machines you'd expect from brands such as Bishop. So yeah, I like the machine. Now, like all machines, I think this lends itself well to specific styles. Now, you could use it for everything, but you may not be as efficient in all the styles. So for me, my recommendation on what this would be useful for is first and foremost, a liner. It's an absolutely banging liner. It's great. I'm finding I can do everything with it from like, like you know, fine line work right up to fat single pass lines and even sculpting lines for that new school style tattoo. Now, a color packer or more specific black work the machine I think it saturates black with ease now yes you can use it for traditional color packing but depending on what the viscosity of the ink is like it may not perform as well as a machine that has a shorter stroke length and that's just from my personal experience I wouldn't recommend this machine for color realism though I did test it out but I ended up switching over to a machine that was a little bit softer on the skin and I feel a packer really does pack that color in which may not be useful when you want to layer or do color blending. This machine is really good for dot work as well. And I think depending on what style of black and gray you do, it can be used for that. So if you like doing that choppy pepper shading, then this is perfectly capable of doing it. But I would recommend a shorter stroke length for that nice smooth shading. So yeah, it's a good machine and it's certainly worth a gamble. Now for me, I was genuinely surprised with how well this machine worked. The machine works well with most batteries that I've tested it with, such as the Critical, the Bishop, and the FKIN's one, but I would definitely steer away from using it with cheaper batteries as they could damage the motors over long term use. And I'll talk about that in another video. Now, one thing I want to add before I wrap this video up is after using the shader and the packer, it's made me wonder what if we could put the shader cam on the packer which would essentially give you a 3.5 millimeter stroke with the brushless motor would that be a better alternative to the shader i personally think it could and i think it would also appeal to a lot of artists like myself that prefer to use brushless motors over brushed motors so if bishop are watching and they fancy pulling one together i'd be definitely interested to see how much difference there is you know would it make the shader in line with the packer as a machine that has that really high-end feel and reliability or failing that i'll just try and swap the camera on myself and see what it's like anyway that is me done the bishop packer it's a great machine for specific styles and it's 100% better than their shader. Now, I hope you have enjoyed watching this. If you have, hit that like button, hit subscribe and hoil vow. I'll see you in another video.